So I wanted to do a quick video today about why the buyer's agent you pick is so important. I cannot tell you how important it is. So I'm talking about your buyer's real estate agent. A lot of people assume, oh, they're really nice, you know, it'll be great. Mm, yeah, okay, so there's this whole other section of the real estate market that I don't think the average consumer knows about. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me what you guys think about this. So a lot of people assume you know, all the houses that are for sale ultimately hit MLS or Zillow, you know, they are all, you all get to see it at the same time, right? That seems fair, right? If someone's gonna sell a house, everyone should have equal opportunity to it in terms of when they see it. You know, not the way it works. So for decades, there's been these things called pocket listings, whisper listings, you know, so many different names to it. And there have been attempts to stop it. Um, you know, the National Association of Realtors actually does have a provision where if you're an agent and you're showing a house, you know, to the public, it has to be on MLS within 24 hours. Now, keep in mind, that would also mean that you have to have a signed listing agreement. And sometimes what's going on, there's so many different ways this can happen. So let me walk you through some of the ways I've seen my clients get their houses without it ever hitting the market, okay? So here's one. If you're an investor and you're looking for an investment property, talk to local property managers. They usually can go through their database and think about which of their sellers has been saying they wanna sell. Sometimes they'll just connect you, you know, with a realtor, without a realtor, they may be a realtor. Um, that's one way, right? The investor probably has been complaining and saying, ah, I'm gonna sell. But until that actual buyer says, hey, you know, like I would love to buy it, they probably weren't gonna list it, okay? The other thing is sometimes with real estate agents, you know, for example, if I said to certain realtors I know, like, hey, this is what I'm looking for, they would look at what's on the market, but the next thing they would do is they would go through every client they've ever sold a house to. If any of those houses match what I'm interested in, they're gonna reach out to that client. They're gonna do it for two reasons. I mean, it is good business. Number one, they're checking in with the client. Number two, they're saying to the client, hey, if you've been thinking about selling, I have a buyer, which shows that they're always thinking about that client and they may get two sales out of it. Okay. The other thing that they would be doing is they would be talking to people in their office. They'd be saying, Hey, you know, I've got a client. She's looking for this. Do you have anything coming up now? What those real estate agents are going to do if they're good as well. So they're going to think about what they're thinking of listing, but they're going to do the same thing with their database, right? They're going to go through it with their head. Okay. Yeah. I've got this client or that client. And a lot of times sellers don't want to sell unless it's easy. And there's nothing easier than someone bringing you an offer on a plate when your house isn't even listed, okay? So that happens a lot. And there's certain segments of the market where that's actually the primary way the houses move. You see it in luxury a lot. Um, but we also see it at every price point, okay? Um, another, another way, so, if you're looking in a very specific neighborhood and you're having a hard time, I would always say talk to your real estate agent about doing a mailing to that neighborhood and just having them say, hey, you know, I've got a buyer interested in the neighborhood. If you've ever considered selling, please give me a call. It works. It seriously works. You know, they might hold on to that postcard for three or four weeks, but it works. Okay, so it's always worth trying. Now, in that situation, the real estate agent did this mailer for you. This person, you, they've already pitched, I've got a buyer for you. Their responsibility, if that person responds, is to say, hey, can my buyer see your house? Yes, okay, great, they're gonna bring in that buyer. They're not gonna say, hey, can I just put it on MLS and Zillow? No, they're not, because that's not what this person's signing up for. If this person wanted to do that, they would respond to the 927 postcards that they get per month from real estate agents offering to list their house. What made this seller respond was the fact that there was already a buyer. It was easy, okay? In all of these situations, what's triggering the activity of the buyer getting the house is how easy it is for the seller. Okay. And what you guys need to think about too, is like there's real estate agents where they know like, okay, let's say a house is probably worth 450, but they know the person who owns it. And that person's already said to them, Hey, if you have someone that will pay 500, let's do it. But I'm not going to do anything unless you have that. 
So that's another example of a pocket listing. Once again, easy for the seller. So my key takeaways from this for you guys is there's a whole other market that you need to know about and you want to make sure your real estate agent is thinking about it, tuned into it and networked into it. And I don't want you guys to think that because someone's a newer real estate agent, they won't have access. There's a lot of new real estate agents that get paired up on big teams that do a lot of listings. They have a ton of access, or if they're a new real estate agent and people like them, you know, they'll call every agent. Hey, I've got a client. They're looking for this. There's also real estate meetings where they will say wants need right? I have a client who wants this and then everyone in the room starts thinking. So I don't want you, I don't want this to be like you have to have, you know, the real estate agent that's been in the market forever. No, you just need someone who is very tied in and who's thinking like this because you'd be surprised. Um, I've talked to agents where I'm like, Oh, have you tried this, this or that? And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, like, have you tried all these things? And they're like, no. And I think a big thing about that, I don't think it's because there's anything wrong with them. I am, I'm from California. My business is in like, my business is actually in 48 States, but I live in California. And for the first gosh, 12 years of my career, that was my focus, California, California, California. It's only within the last few years that I've really expanded out. Now I'm about 50, 50. Okay. California has been crazy competitive for a very long time. And other portions of the country are just starting to feel that within the last three years. So those agents haven't had to go through all of the stuff that the agents in California have been doing for the last decade. So I have a benefit in that I have seen what these agents have done to get clients into those houses. So I'm always talking to agents in other states where this is a newer phenomenon, this whole like, you know, oh my God, there's no inventory, there's competition, what do we do? Like it's very new in certain parts of the country. So I can sit there and say, hey, try this, this, and this, because I've seen them do it here for 10 years. So, um, I hope this was helpful. You know, I, I wanted to make sure it came across where I wasn't knocking anyone. I mean, you guys know me, if I want to knock someone, I'm going to knock them. It's not a negative thing. It's just a, Hey, you guys need to know about this market. You need to make sure your realtor's thinking about it. If they're not like, we need to talk to them and give them some ideas. And if they won't do any of the ideas, why the hell are you working with them? Like someone who just looks at Zillow or says, send me a listing when you see something you want to buy, like what is their purpose? Okay. Unless they're the world's best negotiator, but the world's best negotiator, I can tell you, cause I know those agents, they wouldn't just tell you to send over listings when you like them. So I hope this has been helpful. As always, I am licensed in 48 States. I would love to do your loan. I'm happy to answer your mortgage questions. You can always get on my calendar or leave, leave comments and questions here. And if you found any value, subscribe. If you hate me, hit the hate. Cause that helps the algorithm too.